as China has sent its first female astronaut into space. A Weibo post about the first female astronaut has gotten a lot of attention that perhaps on a normal day, not many people would have cared for. Now, the post gives details of Valentina Tereshkova, a Soviet cosmonaut and the first woman to go into space. However, the day that she was sent into space just happens to be the same day that China sent its first female astronaut into space as well. Talk about coincidence. Let's take a look at a few comments. Liu Yang has become China's first woman to go into space, and it's on the same day. Even though we are 49 years late, what a coincidence that both missions would fall on June 16th. Now, I'm not sure, but maybe they chose June 16th for that specific reason. Who knows? But China has now become the third country in the world that has sent a woman into space. And a lot of people are very proud of it. But I've always wondered, why is it more difficult to send women as opposed to men? Okay, let's get a few more comments. I don't see what the big deal is. Others have already done it in 1963. Oh no, we also sent a woman into space on June 16th. People are going to say that we copied them because we are a bunch of copycats. Well, I guess not all Chinese people are too hyped about the space mission. Although I think the last commenter was making a bit of a joke there. Personally though, I hope space becomes part of Chinese culture because I would really love to see a Chinese version of Star Trek. I wonder how they will fight with karate chops? That's it for this segment of On The Radar. Next up, we cross over to you guys and find out what non-Chinese think about events that occur in China.